Hey there, and welcome to this video series about symbol sorting algorithms. So we will talk about bubble sort and selection sort and insertion sort. So they're the basic symbol sorting algorithms. We have a couple of others that are more, more advanced and also a lot faster. But it is relevant to talk about these symbol sorting algorithms in terms of uh, time complexity because it is important to know that when we design algorithms, what we should be careful of when we uh, have to accomplish a task, how the performance will be, the run times, and all this stuff there. So there are many ways we can visualize this and we can see how they work. Uh, I've just found a couple of resources that we can use for actually not just talk about code and uh, we can also see how they actually work and how they perform and this is one of the first websites here we have uh, xsort lab where we have over here the different or some of the well-known sorting algorithms and we can see we have bubble sort so bubble sort is a rather slow sorting algorithm it is uh, based on two loops that are nested we will see the code in just a minute so if we make a new sort here we can start the algorithm and let's just run it here and the the overall idea behind this algorithm is that it will compare all the items in the list and if the first item is bigger than the second it's going to swap it and eventually it will uh, move this this big element to the end of the list and uh, we call this the the bubble phase it will bubble the element to the end of the list and eventually it will have all the uh, the largest elements uh, in the end of the list and it will slowly sort the array here so if we speed up the process just a little bit we can see it will move the bigger element to the end of the the list here but if we take a look at the comparisons and how many copies it needs to do it will have to do a lot of comparisons all right so we can see uh, the algorithm has completed we did uh, 120 comparisons and uh, the array has been sorted so that's how it works basically and if we take a look at yeah i'm not going to explain all of this here but um first off we can go to the code and see that uh, we have these two loops that are nested and then we have this comparison phase here and the swapping phase where we will swap the elements and important to notice here is that bubble sort is a quadratic algorithm because we, uh, we, we have these two uh, loops inside of each other. So that is n, big O of n, with the, for, uh, the first for loop, and we have uh, big O of n of the second for loop. So because they are nested, it means we have to multiply this. So it is um, big O of n raised to the power of two. Okay, so this means that when we double the list that we need to sort, the runtime or the execution time is increased by four. So that could be a lot if we have a large list. Okay, and it is one of the slowest simple sorting algorithms because it does a lot of element swaps. Okay, so how can we implement this in uh, and test it so we can see the runtimes? Because it is always interesting to see if we increase uh, our array, if we make it double size or more than this, how will the runtime be affected? And uh, in the next video, we will have a look at how we set up this framework, this basic uh, Java project. Uh, and we will also implement bubble sort in this framework and we will test it out to see how well it performs. Okay, so enough about this in this video and see you in the next video. Bye bye.